Hi, I'm Carl Craner here in Riverside, California, at my home above the University of California, which is about two miles away down below us. My house is not so unusual. It's like a lot of other houses. It has various toxic products in it. It doesn't have some, but uh, it's difficult to avoid them. We're going to show you those today. Let's go on in. Everything I'm going to talk about in the room, or maybe what's not in the room, have been established as toxic products through either animal data or human studies. So for example, we can start here with a fairly new TV. It has uh, bisphenol A in it uh, that has been established as showing um, uh, breast cancer, prostate cancer, enlarged prostate, uh, obesity in animals, and some of, to some extent that shows up in people. What the public often doesn't realize is that um, the vast majority of substances are not tested before they come into the market. Various, furniture, various kinds of furniture that have foam padding, uh, uh, various kinds of upholstery in them, and many of those contain, again, the flame retardants to keep them from burning, the brominated flame retardants that cause the uh, neurological and other problems. In animals, they've, they give these su substances animals and they engage in deranged behavior. They all get into our bodies in the same way. They, we ingest them, we breathe them, or they come through our skin. It's very difficult to uh, avoid uh, things like bisphenol A. It may be in refried beans. It may be in artichokes. If you uh, store your food in a plastic container, you're getting uh, bisphenol A from the plastics, uh, from the uh, water bottle from which we ordinarily uh, drink. This is an issue not only between uh, individuals in the society, but it's, a, it's an issue between generations. To what extent are we going to allow the contamination of this generation to pose risks and probably cause diseases and dysfunction for future generations? You'll notice some of the cabinets, uh, some of them are made out of uh, real oak, some of them are made of, out of oak, oak plywood. When you have plywood products, those probably contain uh, formaldehyde, which is a known uh, human carcinogen, and after you build a new house or add an addition onto your house, the uh, formaldehyde offloads into the house for some time uh, after that. What matters here is how the science is used and when it's used. How do we prevent diseases, dysfunction, or in extreme cases, premature death through public health intervention? We have a number of ingredients here in containers that also contain uh, toxic products. They may be phthalates and lotions, several kinds of lotions here, uh, poor cleaners, uh, soaps. They're also in the plastics containers that have the bisphenol A in them. When I realized that um, children were much more susceptible to toxic exposures than adults, but we should worry about adults as well, it occurred to me that we, had, we faced a legal problem. And so I wrote a book here called um, Legally Poisoned, because it seemed to me that we had a public health problem. We need to institute various legal changes now and require the same kind of testing for uh, industrial, chem roughly the same kind of testing for industrial chemicals as we have for uh, pharmaceuticals and also incidentally uh, pesticides. 